What's up, YouTube? Rail Smartphone Help here. Um, yes, I know I've been gone. I was actually on like world cruise type thing. Went to all different types of countries. It was pretty fun. Met a couple girls, you know. Um, but I'm back. So, just wanna uh give a review on Advanced Task Killer for your Android. Um, let me just go ahead and show you which one I have so I'm just gonna go ahead and go on to my apps um I have advanced task killer for you sorry it's blurry it will autofocus in a second there we go advanced task killer for you um I have I just updated my phone to 2.2 uh, Froyo 2.2. That's why I've got Advanced Killer, Advanced Task Killer Froyo. Um, the creator of it was Rechild, R E C H I L D. You'll see the name below. Um, yeah, it's a great app. Um, let's actually get into the app. So, right here, it gives me a list of apps and that are open. And it gives you service and kill selected apps. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and press my menu button. Sorry, I'm doing such a bad video today, but you know, it'll get better. I'm just in a rush, in a rush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings. Yes, you know, blurry. I'll wait for it to focus. Okay. Now, I put auto start when you restart your phone because, of course, I wanted to kill apps. I don't want all my apps to open up as soon as I start my phone, so I put this one on. Show icon notification bar in the switch easily. Um, that's so that, like, you could show it here and then it'll be right there. I take that off because I don't like to see so many things up here. I hate that. Um, Set item height, I never touch that, it's still what it is, the 36 pixel crap. Display buttons at top, um, never messed with that, but it's just to check the display buttons at top, um, otherwise it displays at the bottom. Um, my ignore list, um, I've got one ignore list and that's my weather clock, uh, otherwise there's no reason for an ignore list. Um, default click action I've got it to select um, I've got it to select unselect but you know you have all these options switch to ignore for stop pop-up menu um, default long press action I had it on default I changed it to ignore so if I hold down when I click on something it'll just automatically ignore the um ignore that app and it won't uh, what do you call that it won't kill it auto kill level I put to crazy or whatever is right after aggressive um, I'm actually gonna switch it to crazy now I put crazy and then auto frequency I put so when screen is off so the auto kill frequencies obviously how often you want it to kill apps I put it every time my screen goes off because I don't really need it like that. Um, and so forth. Um, you could go up to, I think it was 24 hours or 8 hours. Let me just double check. Highest is 4 hours, I'm sorry. Security level. You could put high, medium, or low. Um, it's kind of the same as auto kill level. Um, but the difference is it shows more apps so if you're if you're at a higher level then it's not going to show as much apps if you're at a low level it shows a lot more apps um in order to enable change it you need to restart your your uh advanced task killer so all you got to do is simply just go into it and cancel um now i'm going to show you the uh long press short press now so I have all these apps opened up. Again, sorry it's blurry. You just got to give it a second to autofocus, which it will in three, two, one. 
Now, I click one and it's unchecked. And if I click kill selected apps, it won't kill that one. Um, let me just click it back. I'm going to hold hand sent and it's going to disappear. That means that it went into my ignore list. So, since I've got that into my ignore list, I'm going to add this to my ignore list as well. And let's just unclick a Gmail and click kill selected apps. Now, because I had advanced task killers checked off, it it uh exited advanced task killer. If I didn't check it, it wouldn't have exited. And my Gmail still open. That's the one I did not check. So I'm going to recheck that. And I'll just give this a second to autofocus for you, you know, maybe that's what you want. So here we go. I'm just going to simply just Gmail, check it off, kill selected apps. Sorry, I'm not touching it. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to go to is the home and show you the uh, widget. Um, I'm just going to delete this one because I'm going to show you how to get the proper widget. Most people normally go to applications and then they think that it's okay if you just hold down the app and then bring it down that's not bringing a widget so what you're gonna do is click where you want it so let's let that focus in for you now I want it here go to widgets and or if you don't have 2.2 you just have 2.1 you could click Android widgets go to advanced task killer click it and it's there now why I like the widget so much is because it's so much easier than going into the app all you gotta do to kill task is click boom oh, I'm sorry I missed it I clicked the other one click it and it says zero apps killed did you not see that I'm gonna redo it once this is in focus three two one zero apps killed I'm sorry I'm not getting it fast enough ready zero apps killed 153 megabytes available so it automatically kills the apps for you um and I think that's just good because obviously it's um something that can help save battery life because it's killing apps um I would not recommend you to put it on crazy like I did because then it's constantly draining your battery obviously because it's too busy trying to kill the apps if I were you I'll put it on maybe aggressive not crazy and then the uh, thing where it says when screen is off the uh, auto kill level frequency um, I would recommend putting it at every four hours or none because then if it's none you just keep killing it whenever you feel like it so it's not always trying to kill it at the same time that's also saving battery if you put it at its most aggressive thing then there's no use in the app I just put it there just to test out the two different things and that's my um my intake from that um that's my observations that i received from that um so yeah comment rate subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time peace